Hello friends, the topic for today is properties of task environments. In this video, first we will discuss the properties of task environments and then we will analyze several task environments to illustrate the ideas. Let us start with the introduction. The range of task environments that might arise in AI is very vast. We can however identify a fairly small number of dimensions along which task environments can be categorized. These dimensions determine to a large extent the appropriate agent design and the applicability of each of the principal families of techniques for agent implementation. First we list the dimensions and then we analyze several task environments to illustrate the ideas. Let us start with the first property fully observable versus partially observable. If an agent sensor give it an access to the complete state of the environment at each point in time then we say the task environment is fully observable. Fully observable environments are convenient because the agent did not maintain any internal state to keep track of the world. An environment might be partially observable because of noisy and inaccurate sensors or because parts of the states are missing from the sensor data. For example, a vacuum agent with only local dirt sensors cannot tell whether there is a dirt in other squares and an automated taxi cannot see what other drivers are thinking. So they are partially observed. So if an agent has no sensor at all, then the environment is unobserved. So this property has fully observable, partially observable and unobserved. These three categories. Then let us analyze this. Now here the first three columns, agent type, performance measure and environment. We have discussed in the last video. We will not discuss on that. They are just for your reference. We will discuss the last two columns observable and remark. So for taxi driver it is partially observable. An automated taxi cannot see what other drivers are thinking. So that's why it is partially observable. Then medical diagnosis system. So again it is partially observable. Noisy and inaccurate sensors. So here what we mean is if the symptoms are not properly entered. So that is inaccurate sensor. So that's why it is partially observable. Then image analysis system, it is fully observable. Sensor give it access to the complete state of the environment at each point in time. So here we have the image which is down link from the orbiting satellite and then the image is available. That's why it is fully observable. Then part picking robot. So again it is partially observable. Parts of the state are simply missing from the sensor data. Then similarly the refinery control is partially observable. Noisy and inaccurate sensors. So here sensors for temperature, pressure or chemical sensors they may be inaccurate. So that's why we classify it as the partially observable. Then interactive English tutor. Possibility of incorrect keyboard entry that is uh, again the inaccurate sensors. So we classify it as the partial. Then let us go to the next property, single agent and multi agent. The distinction between single agent and multi agent environments may seem simple enough. For example, an agent solving a crossword puzzle by itself is clearly a single agent environment. Whereas an agent playing chess is in two agent environment. Because for playing chess we need two players. Then a multi agent environment has other agents. If the environment contains other intelligent agents, agents needs to be concerned about strategic game theoretic aspect of the environment for either cooperative or competitive agent. So let us come to the competitive environment. In chess, the opponent entity B is trying to maximize its performance measure which by the rules of chess minimizes agents A performance measure. Thus chess is a competitive multi-agent environment. Then, in taxi driving environment, on the other hand, avoiding collisions maximizes the performance measure of all agents. So it's partially cooperative multi-agent. Then let us go to the analysis part. So here, taxi driver, we have already discussed. It is partially cooperative multi-agent environment. Then medical diagnosis system, it is a single agent. Then satellite image analysis, again it is single agent. Part picking robot is single agent and refining controller is a single agent. Then the interactive English tutor. We have a set of students 
and hence it is a multi agent system then let us go to the next property deterministic versus stochastic so in deterministic environments the next state of the environment is completely described by the current state and the agent's action the image analysis systems are examples of this kind of situation the processed image is determined completely by the current image and the processing operation so we call it as the deterministic environment if an element or interference or uncertainty occurs then the environment is stochastic a deterministic yet partially observable environment will appear to be stochastic to the agent because there is some uncertainty in that then examples of this are automatic vehicles that navigate a terrain say the mars rovers robot so here the new environment in which the vehicle is in is stochastic in nature if the environment state is wholly determined by the preceding state and the action of the multiple agents the environment is said to be strategic so for example chess there are two agents the players and the next state of the board is strategically determined by the player's action so always the player will try to form a strategy to win the game that's why the environment is strategic then let us go to the analysis part taxi driver it is stochastic because one can never predict the behavior of the traffic accident moreover once tire blows out or once engine ceases up without warning so these are the things which will occur so there is randomness or uncertainty so that's why it is stochastic in nature then medical diagnosis system uncertainty about outcome is quantified in terms of probability that's why it is stochastic then image analysis system it is deterministic next state of the environment is completely determined by the current state and the action executed by the agent that's why it is determinist then port picking robot uncertainty about outcome is quantified in terms of probability so it is stochastic similarly the refinery control and interactive english tutor they are stochastic then let us go to the next property episodic versus sequential an episodic environment means that subsequent episodes do not depend on what actions occurred in the previous episode each episode consists of the agent perceiving and then performing a single action so many classification tasks they are episodic for example an agent that has to spot defective parts on a assembly line bases each decision on the current part regardless of the previous decision moreover the current decision does not affect the next part is defective that's why episodic environments are much simpler than sequential environment because the agent does not need to think ahead in sequential environments on the other hand the current decision could affect all future decisions in sequential environment the agent engages in a series of connected episodes so chase and taxi driving are sequential in both cases the short term actions can have long term consequences then let us go to the analysis part so taxi driver it is sequential as we have already discussed short term actions can have long term consequences then medical diagnosis system it is again sequential problem is sequential if the task can include proposing a series of test evaluating progress over course of treatment and so on so here depends on the number of test proposed so it's a sequential then satellite image analysis system it's a classification task so it is epic then part picking robot again it is episodic it normally consider each part in isolation that's why it is epic. then refinery controller it is sequential so again here short term actions can have long term consequence and similarly the interactive english tutor it is again sequential then let us go to the next property static versus dynamic if the environment can change while an agent is deliberating then we say the environment is dynamic for that agent otherwise it is static static environments are easy to deal with because the agent need not keep looking at the world while it is deciding on an action nor need not worry about the passage of time whereas dynamic environments on the other hand are continuously asking the agent what it wants to do if it hasn't decided yet that counts as a deciding to do nothing if environment itself does not change with passage of time but the agent's performance score does then we say the environment is semi dynamic 
taxi driving is clearly dynamic the other cars and taxi itself keep moving while the driving algorithm dithers about what to do next and chess when played with clock is semi dynamic then crossword puzzles are static so these are the example then let us go to the analysis part so already we have discussed about the taxi driver so it's a dynamic other cars and taxi itself keep moving while the driving algorithm dithers about what to do next that's why it's dynamic in nature then medical diagnosis system environments can change while the agent is deliberating so test can be added so it's a dynamic then image analysis it is semi dynamic environment itself does not change with the passage of time but the agent's performance told us so it's a semi dynamic then part picking robot here the environment can change while the agent is deliberating so it's dynamic similarly we have the refinery control and the interactive english tutor both are dynamic then let us go to the next property discrete versus continuous the discrete continuous distinction applies to the state of the environment to the way time is handled and to the perceptions and actions of the agent for example a discrete state environment such as a chess game has a finite number of distinct states excluding the clock chess also has a discrete set of perceptions and actions taxi driving is a continuous state and continuous time problem the speed and location of the taxi and other vehicles flip through a range of continuous values and do so smoothly over time taxi actions are also continuous steering angles etc then let us go to the analysis part first is taxi driver here already we have discussed the speed and the location of the taxi and other vehicles flip through a range of continuous values and do so smoothly over time that means it is a continuous state and continuous time system so that's why we have classified it as continuous then medical diagnosis system so diagnosis is a continuous process in time that's why it is a continuous system then image analysis system scene categorization is continuous process in time so it is classified as continuous then part picking robot perception and action is continuous so it is classified as continuous then refinery controller again the perception and action is continuous and that's why it is classified as continuous then interactive english tutor now this system has a discrete set of perception and actions display of exercise suggestions corrections will be done after the test hence it is classified as discrete system figure lists the properties of number of familiar environments so here again we have taken the six environments which we have discussed in details and two more environments are added the cross puzzle and chess with clock so let us see the different properties first is taxi driving so it is partially observable multi agent stochastic sequential dynamic and continuous system then medical diagnosis system it is partial then single agent stochastic sequential dynamic and continuous then image analysis system now this task environment is fully observable single agent deterministic episodic semi dynamic and continuous then part picking robot it is partially observable single agent stochastic episodic dynamic and continuous then refinery controller it is partial single stochastic sequential dynamic and continuous and the interactive english tutor it is partially observable multi agent stochastic sequential dynamic and discrete and the last two will discuss in little more details cross puzzle now cross puzzle the environment is fully observable agents it is a single agent system and it is deterministic we are able to determine the words in the puzzle then it is a sequential system as the output depends on the previous outputs then it is static in nature there is nothing dynamic in it and it is a discrete system because whenever we are able to give the words it will be in discrete it will not be continuous then chess with clock again it is fully observable multi agent system as two players are involved and deterministic because here the moves will be determined 
and it is sequential next move will depend on the previous move and it is a static in nature and it is a discrete time because the moves will be done at discrete time then as one might expect the hardest case is partially observable multi agent stochastic sequential dynamic continuous and unknown taxi driving is hard in all these senses except that for the most part of the driver's environment is known so driving a rented car in a new country with unfamiliar geography and traffic laws is a lot more exciting that's why people go for long drive so that they can enjoy with this we come to the end of this video if you like the video press the like button share with your friends and subscribe to our channel engineering and technology for you and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notifications for our future videos on this subject then thanks for watching have a nice day